Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie and if you're new here then I make videos on motherhood, parenting and play ideas for babies, toddlers and preschoolers. If that sounds like your kind of thing then please do stick around and consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Today is a little bit of a different video. As you can see I'm not in my one of my normal filming spots. I'm actually sitting in our conservatory which works for us as a playroom during the kind of spring summer autumn months we have it closed off from about october to april every year because it gets very cold in here um, it's not the best quality conservatory it was with the house when we bought it um, in an ideal world we would like to knock it down and build an extension to our kitchen and living area but obviously you know finances and things just isn't feasible at the moment so we're just living with it as it is it's a bit leaky and a bit cold and a bit full of spiders in the winter but we make do so we have this as a playroom i converted it into a playroom last year it was around summertime last year so finley was just about two before that we had had all his toys in our living room he does have toys up in his bedroom as well and that made for a very full living room and even though I had an organisation system and I tried to rotate toys and things it never really worked properly because we always just had a space full of toys. So anyway this video isn't actually about Finley and it isn't about toddlers and um, I would like to create a space now for Rupert in this conservatory as well. He's down here you can't quite see him but Rupert is my four month old. It's very hard to film with you looking at me. <laughs> and um, he really needs his own space now to play um, and I've got everything set up for Finley in here but no um, no dedicated space for Rupert and his things so I thought why not film my process my thought process my clearing out process and show you a little bit of what I do in order to create a Montessori inspired space for Rupert so um, I will take you through my process, I will show you what I'm doing and we will create a lovely relaxing and simplistic play space for Rupert, my four month old and hopefully it will give you some ideas for your play space at home as well. So I thought I would just give you a quick overview of what we have got set up here at the moment. I haven't tidied up for this video, so excuse the mess. Um, Finley's been playing in here this morning, but this is real life. So we've got one of these Kallax units from um, Ikea, and then we just at the moment have a basket of Finley's cars next to there. And then I've just put a few things out on the shelves. So we've got a heuristic play tray here which is kind of open-ended loose parts for play um, and that's filled with some coffee beans he asked to put those in this morning um, and then down here sorry it's a bit dark we've got his blocks they're one of his favorite things to play with and his Montessori um, name board and then moving over here we've just got some loose parts with some tongues so this is great for um, practicing fine motor skills and then just some books down here. And then this cupboard is generally just full of crafty bits. So it's really not very tidy. I feel like I'm showing you my Monica closet. <laughs> those of you who know will know. Um, so we've got puzzles there and then all those crafty bits there. Um, so that's what's in that cupboard. It's quite a nice big room, the conservatory, and we've got this nice spongy matting on the floor, which is good for playing on. And then this is the area here that I'm thinking of dedicating to Rupert's kind of play space. So please don't judge for all the mess. This is a lot of stuff that we need to find homes for. Okay, this is our finished baby space. So I'll just give you a quick overview here and then I'll go into a little bit more detail in what I've put in each of the baskets. So we've got a blanket here and um, that's just folded over a couple of times so that Rupert can lie down somewhere comfy, although these mats are very padded and squashy anyway. Um, we've got a mirror up here 
Obviously, it's just propped up at the moment because Rupert is not big enough to um, sit up, grab it or pull it over on himself. But as soon as he is, then we will have to find a way of securing that better. As you can see, it's against the radiator because we are in the conservatory. There's not much wall space um, because the walls are all like those little low walls. So um, we'll have to figure something out for that. But for now, it's fine propped up where it is. Um, and then I've just got some of these big silver balls here, which are one of our favourites. And then I've just got his cushion here. This is um, a bolster from Ikea. And they still have them as far as I'm aware. Obviously, most of you won't be able to get to Ikea at the moment. But um, you can just roll up a blanket and it works just as well. But I like these cushions. It's nice as well because it's got the high contrast patterns on. And then I'll just show you what I've got in these baskets. I've kept it really simple. As I said, I'm trying to do um, a Montessori ethos for my baby area. So it's little, um, few resources, but things that will be really useful to use. So we've got a little makeup brush here. This one is great for tickling it's a clean unused makeup brush um, so yes really good for tickling nice for babies to be able to hold themselves as well you obviously just need to watch as if they're putting things in their mouths a lot because with something like this the bristles could end up coming off in their mouth so just be careful with that then I've also got a bangle here this one is saved from a long time ago and um, I like it of course because it's got the black and white stripes so good for high contrast patterns again nice for babies to be able to hold in their hands bangles like this thick ones are really good as well because uh, you can roll them on the floor so just adds a little bit of ex an extra element of fun for babies and then I've got one of these silver shaker eggs here used to use in my baby classes these are really popular with babies great for holding in their hands and they love to put them in their mouths as well and teeth with them motley being here has just reminded me actually that um to tell you that i don't leave this blanket lying out on the floor like this i do roll it up because we do let the cats sleep in here overnight and obviously i don't want them sleeping on here so i do roll this up when it's not in use during the day this is our other basket so a little bit fuller but obviously bigger um, but still very simple this is our more um, colorful basket so i've just got one of these teething toys here for rupert He's getting to that stage now where he likes to put things in his mouth, starting to experiment with teething and also exploring different textures using his mouth. So I need to provide things that are safe for him to do that with. So we've got one of those teethers. Um, another shaker here. This is obviously different than the egg in that it's got a little handle there. So great for Rupert to be able to hold in his hand. The next thing I've got in here is just a little sensory bottle. If you watched my live baby play over the past few weeks over on my Facebook or Instagram, you will have seen me do a video all about how to make sensory bottles using dry fillers like this and also wet fillers. So this has obviously got feathers in. Great because it provides a contrast between the shaker and this because it doesn't make any noise when you shake it. So that's something interesting to talk to your babies about. And it does make a nice sound if you squeeze it. Just be aware that if your baby is at the stage where they're putting things in their mouths and they're particularly adept at getting lids off, that you tape the lid down like this or you could even glue it down for extra security as well. I've also got one of these little soft books in here. This was gifted to us by a friend when we had Finley. It's great because it's got lots of nice, colourful, high contrast patterns in. It's got one of those crinkly pages that babies love as well. Then we've got some nice shiny material. You could use any material in a basket like this. I like this one because obviously it's sparkly. I've talked about this before. I like to either put it down on the floor and we use it for tummy time or I sometimes hang it over the bar of his playpen or um, not playpen, play toy arch or bouncer and then it hangs up like this in front of it and he can in front of him and he can look at it he loves to bat at it with his hands but any material that you've got that's got an interesting pattern or color would work and then the last thing in here is just one of these little squashy sensory balls these are great for teething babies again because they've got all these little nubby bits on so nice for getting into those sore parts of their gums and also just great for squashing and easy for them to hold in their hands as well provides a nice texture on your hand actually it's like a little massage ball i've also got his high contrast book that we made as part of one of my live baby play sessions the other day so this is just a cereal box that we folded um 
folded in half, it's tricky to do with one hand, and then it stands up by itself like that. You can see the back of the box there. Um, so that's great for babies to sit up at and or um, use do tummy time at. So I've just got that stored behind the mirror here. I've been asked a few times how long you should leave things like this out for before you change them for other resources. And it really, really depends on your baby and how interested they are with what you have out. You may find that they like certain things more than others. And if they do like certain things, then obviously keep those. If they're disinterested with things, then change them up. You could change things up as often as every week, depending on what they like and dislike. Or you could leave things out for months on end it really depends on your individual situation so just a little guide there I know that's probably not that helpful but just just make sure that you don't feel that you're having to change things out every week or very often just just for the sake of it because you really don't and your babies will stay interested and engage with things for a lot longer than you think that they may do. If you have any questions about anything that I've put out for Rupert or you would like any advice for setting up a play space for your baby then please do pop them in the comments below or send me a private message on Instagram or Facebook. I'm always happy to chat with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas and some inspiration. Just remember obviously that all babies are different and um, what works for my baby won't necessarily work for your baby and you know your baby best at the end of the day um, it also depends of course on the age of your baby so um, things like we talked about the mirror being not being attached to the wall obviously you need to just bear that in mind for your own baby and um, the age that they are and just make sure that you're making sure that your play space is safe for them and also make sure that you are supervising them when they're using it. If you would like more ideas on how to play with your baby then make sure that you come and join me for live baby play. We do it three times a week over on my Instagram and Facebook channel. I go live every day at 10am and they're always saved for you to watch afterwards as well. Lots of ideas for different ways to play with your baby and um, I have my live baby class on a Wednesday right here on YouTube so if you go i'll link the um the card above now and i'll put a link down below go and check out the previous weeks of baby classes and then come along and join us this week or you can join us afterwards it's always saved if you can't make it at that time thank you very much for watching everybody please do subscribe and i will see you all next time bye